Listen, the 10 shares of Qingjiang company that you bought last time have risen significantly. It's quadrupled so far. You are now the richest person in Lofthouse's wealth list. Look at this. Mission. Mission. The Lord is going to hang himself again. <sighs> Let's go. Here she comes. Oh, don't stop me. Let me die. Oh, no. Oh, no, my lord. Don't be too hard on yourself. Lord, this is my greatest wish. It's to find my granddaughter a good husband. But my granddaughter doesn't want to get married. Don't stop me. Let me die. Cho, don't stop him. Let him go. Oh, dear. What a cruel granddaughter. Grandpa, you've used this trick for 99 times this month. You haven't had enough? Well, I won't force you. You and Mr. Ho just stay together for three more months. If it doesn't work, then you can call off the engagement immediately. But he doesn't even like me. <laughs> she doesn't like you? The chance is not him to reach. Okay, then. It's a deal. If you'd said that earlier, I wouldn't be so tired. Three months is too long. I'll get him to call off the engagement in three days. Tilly. I am here. Shoes, hair, and face. Don't leave anything out. So this is the master's fiance? What a country pumpkin. I heard that you came here by train. I really don't understand why the Lord arranged this poor marriage for the master. What's wrong with you? What a country pumpkin. No manners. Do you know how many viruses are on you? If you infect the horse, you wouldn't be able to pay for it. Even if you sell yourself. Keep spraying. Don't go too far. Too far? A country bumpkin can marry into the horse. You should be praying to Buddha. You'll take whatever you're offered with a smile. Let me disinfect your mouth first. Mm. Mm. <laughs> bitch! This one, are you okay? You bitch! I'll ask my cousin to call off the engagement with you right away. I'd love to. Why is this bitch so arrogant? Follow her. Take her to my cousin's bedroom. The master doesn't like others to enter his room. Stop talking nonsense! The host guest room is quite big. So, the type of girl he likes is innocent and naive. It just so happens that I'm not. It's too easy to play myself. It's been a long day. I'm going to bed. Wang Chai, good boy. Don't make a fuss. Go to sleep. The scent of this woman is very familiar. It's exactly like her. Don't be afraid. I'm very strong. I'll protect you. Have you seen enough? <laughs> Who are you? Why are you in my room? Take a good look. Whose room are you in? You're my fiancé, Huo Chen Han? You climbed into my bed on your first day in the Huos. You've got something. Self-righteous, but it suits me. <laughs> Mr. Huo, I'm your fiancé. I'm your future wife. I'll be part of the Huos in the future. This bed, of course, is also mine. What a brag. My grandpa told me that you're a golden son-in-law. I came here to hold on to you. We're not married. This engagement can be cancelled at any time. How can it be cancelled? You're a rich man. I fell in love with you at the first sight. I promised your grandpa to spend three more months with you. Now I don't think it's necessary at all. You don't even deserve to enter the horse gate. It went so well. Great. Chen Han, I know you deserve a better marriage, but your grandfather is still in the hospital. If we call off the engagement now, it would be to piss him off. When your grandfather gets well, then you can call off the engagement. I won't stop you. So you're giving in? Your name is Shen Yan, right? Yes. 
Letting you into the Huo's is just a stopgap measure. Don't think of yourself as Mrs. Huo. But since you're in the Huo's, you have to follow the rules. Look at what you're wearing. Put away all that village style. How can a custom made dress be called village style? Here's 5,000 yuan in this card. Buy some decent clothes. Get rid of the village style. The Lord arranged you to be Chen Han's secretary. Behave yourself in the company. If anything goes wrong, the Huos won't spare you. 5,000 yuan? You're looking down upon me? Is this the discipline of the Shens? The adults are talking and you're looking at your phone. No wonder you're an orphan. Uncle, if you want to be respected by others, you have to respect others first. And I have money. Take this 500 yuan to clean up your mouth. <laughs> what a poor village girl. Stop pretending. Help me find out if Lord Huo is in poor health. I'll spend three months with you for my grandfather, so behave yourself. Don't ever dream of becoming Mrs. Wu. Hey, but you're handsome and rich. I cannot help being attracted by you. You're going to marry anyway. Why not me? The future Mrs. Wu is attracting the master. That's right. I want to be your future wife. What are you doing? Don't be so cold. Let's cultivate our relationship, hmm? <gasps> what are you doing? This familiar smell again. It wasn't a dream last night. Have you ever been kidnapped when you were a kid? No, I wasn't. What am I thinking? How could it be her? Hey, 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 have you heard? The CEO has a fiancé. She's coming to our secretarial department today. That'll be a good show. Isn't Su Wan or a one who claims to be president's fiancé? She's always been so arrogant, acting like the president's wife. Not the real one is here. Exactly. Let's see how she is arrogant. You've got nothing to do, right? Hey, one er, I've heard that the president's fiance is a village girl, and she graduated from an unknown college. She must be ugly. Maybe she doesn't even know how to use the computer. The president must accept her for the sake of his grandfather. You must be the one he eventually marries. That makes sense. You call me ugly. Hold my tongue. I'll hold my tongue. Why isn't she said to be ugly? Why is she so pretty? Exactly. She is much prettier than Su Wan Er. Yes, that's right. Are you Shen Yan? Who are you? I am Su Wan Er. I am Chen Han's childhood friend. Hey, wait a minute. Let me tell you. Chen Han doesn't like you. It's just because his grandfather is seriously ill. So he brought you to the horse. When his grandfather gets well, he'll kick you out. If you don't want to be humiliated, you better call off the engagement now. If you want to call off the engagement, ask Tuo Chenhan to talk to me. You're not qualified. You're just interested in the horse money. There is 500,000 yuan in this card. It's enough to cover the expenses for the rest of your life. As long as you call off the engagement, the money will be yours. To cover the expenses for the rest of my life? Miss Su, thank you for your kindness. But whether I call off my engagement with Wu Chenhan or not, it's between the two of us. It has nothing to do with the outsiders. And this 500,000 yuan, it's not even enough for the rest of my dog's life. You poor village girl, do you know how much 500,000 yuan is worth? I suppose you don't even have 50,000 yuan, do you? What are you pretending for? You're better than a pig at pretending to be fat, and I'm the one that Chen Han likes. So your brain is not different from my dog's. You! Oh, oh, how dare you splash me! What are you doing? Chen Han, she poured water on me. You have to back me up. 
You poured water in her? Yes, I did. She was trying to do that on me Nonsense. first. You're jealous of me because I'm Jen Han's childhood friend. Not only did you mock me, you threw water on me. Everyone saw it. Yes, it was Shen Yan who started it. You distort the truth deliberately. I really can't stand it. Apologize. Did you hear me? Chen Han asked you to apologize to me. If that is the case, then I won't bear it anymore. I'm asking you to apologize. Chen Han, she threw water on me. You'd rather believe a country pumpkin? You don't trust me? Am I blind? Or is there no surveillance here? And she has a name. Is that all you've been taught by the shoes? This chief fiancé, why is he so protective of me? Is he in love with me? Never mind. Let me have some more fun first. My dear fiancé, I knew it. He'll definitely believe me. Oh my god, oh my god! You, you dirty, filthy, shameless country bumpkin! Who allowed you to kiss Chen Han? He's my fiancé. What are you jealous of? But it's useless for you to be jealous. He's my fiancé. Shen Yan, do you have a sense of shame? You're my fiancé. What's wrong with kissing you? Shameless. Why is he shy? Is it his first kiss? I shouldn't have kissed him if I had known. It would be annoying if a virgin boy had a crush on me. <laughs> Chen Han won't like you. Don't flatter yourself. I'm telling you, when Grandpa Hua recovers, you get out. I don't know how to get out. Why don't you show me? Hmm? <sighs> Shen Yan, wait and see. Hello? Mishan, I found out that the Lord Hua is not sick, he's faking. Send the report about Lord Hua's health to Hua Chen Han. There are only two days left. I'll get him to call off the engagement. By the way, send him some information about that I've had many boyfriends. Mishan, are you sure you want to do this? I only have two days. I have to get him to call off the engagement. I cannot delay my trip around the world. I've asked the fortune teller. He told me that it is a perfect day for traveling the day after tomorrow. Okay, I got it. That's it. Bye bye. Shameless. Mr. Huo, I've got some news about the little girl who was kidnapped with you back then. Tell me. The girl who was kidnapped with you was from Hai City. Nothing more? No, no more. Is this the information you can give me? Mr. Huo, the information you've given me is too limited. The case has been over for more than 10 years ago. It's difficult for us to investigate, but I have some important news. I just received the delivery. There are a test report that shows Lord Huo isn't sick, and some information about your fiancé. Mr. Huo, how will you deal with your marriage to Shen Yan? My grandpa isn't sick. This marriage can be cancelled. Frivolous! We're going to the mansion tonight. Looks like those two documents work. The marriage is going to be called off. Why are we going to the mansion? Isn't Grandpa sick? You should go to the hospital. Grandpa? You're pretty good at that, aren't you? <laughs> and your fiancé, your grandpa, is also my grandpa. Not anymore. Grandpa is not sick. We can cancel this marriage. Can't we not break it off? I'm very satisfied with you. You're rich and handsome. You're especially suitable for being my husband. <laughs> Any man with good looks can be your husband, right? Not really. My husband has to be rich. I don't want a poor man. Let's go. Wang, your chess skills haven't improved yet. After all these years with me, you're still not good at it. <laughs> hey Wang, Shen Yan has gone to work in Chen Han's company, right? Has she been bullied? Hey Lord, the master is there. 
No one dares to bully Miss Shen. It's useless to rely on that boy. I asked him to get married. He feels like I'm gonna kill him. But that girl, Shen Yan, I like her very much. Go to check if anyone dared to bully her. I'll smack that boy to death. Grandpa, am I still your grandson? Ouch, ouch. My chest hurts. Wang, help me sit down. Grandpa. You're not sick. Don't act anymore. I have all your medical reports. Oh, you asshole! I'm in good health. Aren't you happy? Uh, Shen Yun, come here. Grandpa Huo! Jin Han? Grandpa Huo? Why are you here, Wan Er? Grandpa Huo, I'm here to tear apart this country bumpkin's true face. Shen Yun is my granddaughter-in-law. She's not a country bumpkin. Grandpa Huo, you've been deceived by this woman. She's got a messy private life. A lot of bad behavior. She slept with old man when she was a teenager. She's not good enough for Chen Han. Misu, you're making up remorse about me just based on a few photos. That's a bit low, isn't it? You should at least find an old man to come here and confront me face to face. What? It's the truth I found out. Enough! I know better than you about what kind of person Shen Yan is. Grandson, come with me to the kitchen. Grandpa Huo, Chen Han. Shen Yan, I'm telling you, Chen Han doesn't like you at all. Sooner or later, he'll call the engagement. If you want me to break the engagement with Chen Han, then don't make a fuss and just wait. When Chen Han is talking to Grandpa Hu alone, they must be talking about calling off this marriage. Hmm, you're so poor. I'm afraid you've long been bewitched by the Hua's wealth and glory. I don't believe you let go so easily. Hey! How dare you! Oh, I see. You won't admit you're poor because you've stolen a lot of good stuff, huh? Give it to me! No, I won't. This is the evidence of your stealing. I'm going to tell Chen Han and Grandpa Huo. Ah! Give it to me! Chen Han, she's stealing! She's a thief! This is mine. Give it to me. Are you sure it's yours? The texture of this jade pendant is excellent. You're from the countryside. How did you get it? Open your eyes and look at the writing on it. It's my nickname. Don't think you're the only rich person in the world. Shadow, this is my amulet. I'm giving it to you. Annan, this is your amulet. I can't take it. Keep it with you. I'll find you in the future. Shadow, don't lie to me. Yes, I won't. It's you, isn't it? It's me? What do you mean? Give me my jade pendant. Chen Han, she's a country bumpkin. How could she have such a valuable jade pendant? Do you have any proof? Stop talking nonsense. I... And the horse business is none of your business. I... Get out of here. Chen Han? Grandpa Huo! Go home first, Wan Er. I have something to talk to my granddaughter-in-law. Grandpa Huo? Chen Han, I'll go first. Miss Chen, come sit with me. I don't need to sit, Grandpa. I'll just stand here. You stand there. Let me ask you, what is the problem with Shen Yan? Why do you want to call off your engagement? I'm telling you, as long as I'm alive, I won't allow you to mess around. Chen Han did speak about calling off the engagement. Grandpa Huo, I love Chen Han very much. The marriage cannot be forced. We won't be happy together. I'm willing to do what's right. You don't want your grandson blame you in the future, right? I'll ask you one last time. Do you really want to call off your engagement with Shen Yan? Please, not your head. Not your head. Grandpa, I'm not going to call off the engagement. What? Since Miss Shen is sincere to me, how can I let her down? Grandpa, I've decided to get along with her for three more months. What Chen Han, have you forgotten what you came for? I'm not calling off the engagement. Shouldn't you be happy? After all, you fell in love with me at the first sight, right? My fiancé?
Hey, are you serious? Yes. Look, my fiancé is so overjoyed that she looks silly. You're the silly one. I was so angry that I almost went to heaven. Since you won't call off the engagement, then you two can get along well with each other. Tonight, you just spend the night in the mansion. <laughs> Why did you back out just now? Didn't I just say I don't want to let you down? What's wrong with him? He hated me so much before. Why did he just change his mind? No way. I have to get out of it. If you don't want to call off engagement, I'll be watching you every day. Then I cannot help it. Can't help what? What are you doing? Don't you want to do something to me? I'm just going to cooperate with you. Has his brain been kicked by a donkey? I'll take a shower. Hello? Mission, your flight is booked. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Reschedule it. The engagement wasn't cancelled. Putin had got something wrong with his brain suddenly. Then, change it to three months later? No, one month later first. I don't believe Putin Hunt's brain can be messed for so long. Okay. Hwajan Han really knows how to enjoy life. He actually has a collection of so many expensive wines. Ah, oh, here is my favorite, vintage wine. Since you won't call off the engagement, then don't blame me for drinking all your wine. Let me help you stand up. Are you trying to steal my jade pendant again? What Chen Han, do you want my money? That's why you won't call up our engagement? Are you rich? Let me tell you, even if I were a rich woman, I wouldn't spend money for a man. If I spend money for a man, I'll have bad luck for the rest of my life. I have money. I can give money to you. Hmm. Men's mouths are full of lies. Shenyan, you really weren't kidnapped when you were a kid? You want to kidnap me and ask for the ransom? Let me tell you, a soldier can be killed but not humiliated. If you want life, just take it. If you want money, no way. Her mind is so strange when she's drunk. Money is more important than life for her. I actually like your face. There is no future being a robber. Why don't you work for me as a gigolo? I give you 100 yuan per month. 100 yuan? No, no, no. 100 yuan is too much. I won't spend a penny for me. Shenya, was the little girl you or not? Lin An, find out more about Shenya for me. And her childhood history too. Including whether she was kidnapped when she was a child. Yes, sir. You're awake now? <gasps> oh my god! He changed my clothes? How can you take advantage of me? You're my fiancé. And you threw up all over yourself. You want to sleep with your vomit? Uh, I'm not a very good drinker. But it's not like I'm gonna throw up. I'm kidding. 
The maid changed it for you. Time to get up. Grandpa's waiting for us downstairs. <sighs> Yun, did you sleep well last night? I'm fine, Grandpa. If he bullies you, just tell me. I'll teach him a lesson for you. <laughs> Grandpa, I like him very much. He's very nice to me. As long as you like. Good, good. Seeing that you two getting along so well, I don't think we need to wait three months. I'll get your marriage registered today. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, it's... It's a bit too fast. I think we still need... Shen Yan's purpose is to call off the engagement with me rather than really like me. Why did you refuse? Didn't you fall in love with me at the first sight? <laughs> I don't like it to force others to do anything. If you want to get married, I have to make you fall in love with me first, right? Okay, I'll wait. What an Han is out of his mind. Is he really want to delay until three months later? This is the advertisement that the Huas will be shooting this afternoon. You're in charge of it. Mr. Huas said you work in a secretarial department. Then you're a part of it. You have no privilege. Good. Hey, one er, I put Shenyan in charge of Linche's advertisement. Linche is known to be very picky. Let's wait for Shenyan to make a fool of herself. Good job. Ugh, it's so hot. Why doesn't anyone give me an umbrella? Hello, Mr. Lin. I'm in charge of this shooting. Shen Yan. Yun? I'm not dreaming, am I? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be traveling around the world now? Or lying in our 500 meter bed? Lin Che, long time no see, huh? Long time no see, Yun. What are they doing? Exactly. They are so intimate in front of so many people. This guy is quite handsome. He looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Well, today's shooting is over. Thank you, Mr. Lin. Yun, let's go for dinner. My treat. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't. I haven't finished my work yet. Oh no. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a big mansion and travel around the world? Why do you have to work at the Huos? Is the Shen group bankrupt? I'll take care of you. You don't understand my world. I have to get back to work. Have your dinner. Okay, I'm off then. Yeah. My grandpa made a reservation for us. Let's go for the dinner. Yan, you're off work. Can we go and have dinner now? Linche. Chen Han, you two know each other. Yan saved my life. Don't you want to have dinner? All right, let's go. Yun, let me toast to you. Yun, why did you come to work at the Huo Group? What's your relationship with Mr. Huo? Grandpa called him here. I'm engaged to him. So Chen Han's so-called girlfriend from the countryside is you? He's not good enough for you. He's cold and heartless, not even as good as me. Lin Jie, your brother asked me to buy you the car you wanted before. I don't think it's necessary now. Oh, Mr. Huo, please. I didn't mean that. Actually, you and Yan are a good match. Bye, Lin Che. Be careful on the Bye, road. Bye, Yan. I'll see you around. See you. Bye. Didn't you say you like me? I do like you. But that doesn't stop me from liking others. I'm a very generous person. I'd like to remind you, it's hard to marry into the Lens. After all, you're two years older than Lin Jie. Get all these files into the computer. You have to finish it today. If you're in such a hurry, why didn't you tell me earlier? Just do what you're told. One or is your boss now. Don't think you can take advantage of your acquaintance with a big star.
finally done. How long will you finish your work? It's done. It's time to go home. No, you can't. You cannot leave now. I just got a call from Mischief. There is another piece of data you need to add. I'll send it to you now. Then send the data directly to me. It's too late for you to come over. No, I can't. It's complicated. You're not familiar with it. I'll come over now to work with you. What are you complaining about? Tenhan, you're back. Hey, Shenyan didn't come back with you. It's already eleven o'clock. I wonder where she's been. What a country bumpkin! She has no manners at all. Shenhan, as for Shenyan, it doesn't matter if she misbehaves, but it would be bad for your reputation if it gets out. When your grandpa gets well, you'll call off this engagement right away. I have my own plans. Shenyan! 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 How are you? Are you sick? I'm scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? Don't worry. Okay. Don't be afraid. It's okay. I'll take you home. Don't leave. Stay with me, okay? Don't be afraid, An An. An An is you, right? Shenyan, what secrets are you hiding? Did you bring me back? Yes, I did. You took care of me all night? Yes. Chen Han, I'm so touched. I wish I could repay you with my body. Then do it. You don't have a fever? You still got something wrong with your brain? What are you doing? You look weak. How about I register you for a brain clinic to check your brain? I'm just afraid that something bad might happen to you. Then I won't be able to explain it to my grandpa. Don't flatter yourself. Look at the way he's behaving. His brain should be healed soon. I cannot stay in this room. Country bumpkin, what did you do last night? A man and a woman in a room together. What do you think they're gonna do? Pitch! You're shameless! Mr. Huo, this is Shen Yun's investigation data when she was a child. She wasn't kidnapped. Are you sure? Mr. Huo, Shen Yun's past is very simple. When she was 13 years old, her parents died in a car accident. She was taken back by her grandfather in the countryside and lived with them. Lin An, how many days have you been investigating? And you've only found this much? Not even a school? The last message you received has been questioned, right? Mr. Huo, that's all I can find out. Keep looking into it. Hey, Warner. Today I was set up by Shen Yan. She made me get scolded by Mr. Huo. She even seduced Mr. Huo in front of me. What? You must kick this country bumpkin out. You cannot let her be on top of you. Bitch! Just she wait! You still know to come to work. Don't you know what time is it? Sorry, something's come up. 
Something's come up. The third day on the job, you're absent from work. Do you really think you're Mrs. Wall? First of all, I was late, not absent. Secondly, I asked for a leave of absence. How dare you argue? When did you ever ask me for a leave? Unexcused absence. You're fired. Fat Chan-han didn't even fire me. What right do you have to fire me? Shen Yan. Don't think you're Mr. Huo's fiance. Then you can do whatever you want in the company. Everyone knows that Mr. Huo doesn't like you. He won't even look at you. He will never approve your leave. He might even thank me for kicking you out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'm only gonna say it once. Pick it up. No way. If you've got the guts, hit me. Since you need to be slapped so badly, I'll do you a favor. You country bumpkin, you! What are you doing here, Mister Huo? She missed work first, and she beat up her superiors. She has asked me for a leave. Do I still need to report it to you? Sorry, Mister Huo. I thought she was lying, but she just slapped me. I slapped her first. I always like to help others. You started it first. You threw her things away for no reason. It's your own fault for getting beaten up. Oh, by the way, shouldn't you give me an explanation for what happened last night? Oh, what happened last night? Last night, you said you wanted me to send the data. Actually, there wasn't any data. You deliberately made me wait for you all night at the office for nothing. Shouldn't you give me an explanation? Yesterday, I just told you to go home after you finish your work. When did I say I'd send you data? You. I just got call from Miss Chen. There is another piece of data you need to add. I'll send it to you now. Mr. Huo, it is not like this. This is fake. Is it real or fake? Let's get an expert to identify it. Then we'll know. Apologize to Chen Yun. I'm sorry. What? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I don't want this to happen again in the future. Get in the car. No need. I can take a taxi. It's hard to get a taxi at this hour. I don't want that to happen again like last time. I had to bring you back from the office in the middle of the night, and then I had to take care of you for the rest of the night. It's all because of you. Liu Jingjing has been targeting me because of Su Wanor. I don't believe you cannot see that Su Wanor is into you. What's wrong? Are you jealous? What? What are you doing? Just helping you tie your seatbelt. No need. I'll do it by myself. This week is Lord Shu's seventieth birthday. Don't forget it. You're going there too. Remember to behave yourself. Don't disgrace the Huos. Wow, you're young and promising. Good for you. Let's have a drink. Come on. Shen Yan, what's up? You'd better be smart. You'd better announce that your engagement with Chen Han is called off later at the banquet. Otherwise, I'll show you no mercy. I'd like to see how you show me no mercy. Country bumpkin, don't do this the hard way, or you'll be punished. Be careful. The shoes can make it impossible for you to stay in the Pace City. Then try it. Since you don't know what's good for you, don't blame me for being rude. It's her! It's her! I saw her just now. It's her. Shen Yan, I didn't realize it was you who stole my diamond ring. It's hard to tell Mr. Huo's fiance is a thief. Wang Yan said she's just a country bumpkin from the countryside. I'm afraid she's never seen such a precious diamond ring in her life, so she has to steal from someone else. Wang Er, don't be polite to her. Let's just call the police. That's what Su Wan Er means by showing me no mercy. What's going on, Grandpa? Shen Yan stole the diamond ring you gave me. Miss Shen, you stole one Earth diamond ring. No, it's not a big deal. You know, it's just that one Earth likes it. If Miss Shen like it too, I'll get you a better one. 
Please give this diamond ring back to one Earth. I didn't take it. How can I return? Chen Yan, you still want to quibble just now. One Earth is in the bathroom, accidentally left the ring on the bathroom counter. Only you in the bathroom and an attendant show you taking the ring. The plan was seamless. As long as Chen Han breaks off his engagement with his bum again, I'll be Mrs. Wong. Did you see with your own eyes that I took Suwon Earth's diamond ring? The diamond ring was in her purse. Give the diamond ring back to one Earth. This pumpkin. She has nothing to do with the horse. Chen Han wouldn't marry a thief. In this case, please return it to us, Miss Shen. I said I didn't take it. Ah, huh? wait a minute. Whether you take it or not, just show your purse to everyone. Isn't that clear? Wait. What happened? Chen Han. Chen Yan stole my diamond ring, but she denied it. Bring me the purse. Do you also think I took it? This asshole, are you blind? Chen Yan, this is my ring, and I'm caught with goods. What else do you have to say? Pick up the ring now and apologize to me. I can forgive and forget your misdeeds. Oh, one hour, uh, you're just too kind hearted. You should have just called the police to arrest the thief. Calling the police is exactly what I want. In front of the police, debunking Su Wan Er is more interesting. It's not her. Chen Han, don't let her fool you again. Chen Han, the ring is found from her purse. Are you still covering her up? I believe her. Just now, he wants to check my purse. Why didn't he believe me again? Chen Han! Get the surveillance video out. Okay, Mr. Roll. Mr. Roll, the monitors in the banquet hall are broken. It's really simple. If I steal that ring, there must be my fingerprints on that ring. Just call the expert and check it out. Then, the truth will come out. It is too much trouble. Shen Yan, I want you to apologize to me now. For the sake of Chen Han, I will forget this thing. Miss Su, do you dare not to get an expert to have a check? Since you insist on checking for prints, why wouldn't I? Come here. Mr. Hua, according to our detection result on this ring, there's Miss Shen's fingerprints. Shen Yan, now the detection result also proves that you did steal the ring. If you apologize to me earlier, I can still let it go. But it's late now. Arrest her and take her to the police station. From now on, the people in our circle have to talk about it every day that we have a thief in the horse. You shameless woman. Give it to me. What are you doing? She's my fiance. Whether she's right or wrong, you can't even punish her. Chen Han, she's a thief. Would you protect her? A one carat diamond ring? I really don't like it, let alone disdain to steal. Now you are caught with a gush, you're still quibbling. If I can prove that I didn't steal it. If you can prove that I will swallow this ring. If you cannot prove, I need you to get down on your knees and slap yourself. Calling yourself a bitch. Okay, I agree. A fool out of her ability. Give me the ring. What happened to her hand? Yeah. I'm allergic to platina. As soon as my hand touches platina, it will get red and swollen. It'll take a few hours to recover. The finger holder of this ring is made of platina. No, it's impossible. You must have done something about it. Look, it's just an allergic hand. She's not lying. It's all red. Did you see my fiancé steal the ring? I'm sorry, Miss Shen. Actually, I stole this ring. I just lost my mom for a moment. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. My mother is too sick. She needs a lot of money to have an operation. I just got the wrong idea. Since you stole the ring, then how did the ring end up in her purse? No one told me what to do. I stole it myself. Forget about the ring. We got it back. For the sake of your filial piety, I'll let it go. Thank you, Miss Su. Since one Ur have forgiven you, then let it go. She let it go. I won't. Misu, I've proven my innocence. You have forgotten what you just said. This ring, you should swallow it. Even though you didn't steal the ring, but I know you like it very much. After all, it's worth 100,000 yuan. I give this ring to you to pat it off. 
Grand Vashu, you are the person I respect the most, but I hope you will admit defeat for a bet. That's all? Get on. Why do you deal with it by hurting yourself? Or what? You can always use other ways, like... It's just a ring. I don't even like it. I like... the property of the was. Then you work hard. Hey, it's just allergy. It's not a big deal. I'll give you some ointment. Just apply it. Okay, thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Why do we live here? I'm afraid the shoes will make trouble for you after going back. Oh. I'm gonna take a shower. Remember to apply the ointment. <gasps> okay, how did you finish so fast? Do you like it? I... Uh, why didn't you make sound when you walked? Trust yourself. I just helped you. You don't even thank me. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. What's up? You dropped something. What? Why don't you have a check? Oh my goddess, I dropped my underwear! Give it to me. It's so embarrassing. What's up? You have been in the secretary department for a couple of days. This is the project of the following season with Lady Fashion in France. He'll follow up on the project. Here is the file of this project. You should learn about it. Okay. Lady Fashion in France is my project. But Mr. Who asked me to hand over it to her. Damn it. Yan, tomorrow is my birthday. Will you come? Sure. Clerk, please, take this dress for me. I want to try it on. Sorry, it's designed by Leo Studio. It's the top one in our store and it's expensive. It's not allowed to try on if you don't buy it. So I cannot try it on if I don't buy it. What if I buy it? <laughs> Miss, the fitting room is over there. Take the Asia dress for me. It's designed by Leo Studio. Misu, that dress is sold just now. Who dared to get my dress? Shen Yan? Yeah, it's me. I'll take the dress now. Wrap it up for me. But she comes first. How she paid it? She's just a country bumpkin. Do you think she can afford it? No, she didn't pay for it. That means she hasn't bought it. Why not ask you to wrap the dress? Did you hear that? You know what? She's the lady in the suits. If you offend her, you will be fired. Uh, miss, she's going to buy the dress. Please take it off. I've told you. I'll take it. This dress will belong to one R. Look at you, poor little bitch. How dare you against one R? As the saying goes, first come, first served. So what? Can you afford it? 
Do you have the money? Tell her the price. Enrich her experience, you poor little bitch. You should know you cannot afford it, even if you sell yourself. This dress is designed by Leo Studio. It's three hundred thousand yuan. Have you heard that? It's three hundred thousand yuan. I'm afraid you haven't seen so much money in your whole life. Whether I can afford it or not, it's none of your business. Here's the card. Why do you have the black card? It's worldwide limited. Is that Chen Han's card? I'll double the price. It's not about the money. I won't give it to you. You don't deserve the dress. Chen Yan, take off the dress, quick, quick! You poor little bitch! How dare you push me? Come on, get someone to take off the dress. Come on, Miss Chu, Miss Su, I'm gonna ask for instructions from our manager. Chen Yan, I'd like to give you the chance to take the dress off for the last time. Otherwise, the manager will kick you out of the mall later. Then you'll be humiliated. Manager Wu, you just come in time. Kick this woman out of the mall. Excuse me, Miss Shen. I'm sorry for what the clerk did. I make an apology to you for her. You pushed me, and you made an apology to her? Manager Wu, what the hell are you doing? This dress should belong to one off. You often one off. That means you often the suits. Do you know the consequence? Well, Miss Shen, I'm sorry. Please accept this dress as my apology. I hope you'll be glad. <laughs> no way! It's mine! This dress belongs to Miss Shen. You can't have it. No matter how much you're gonna pay, you should ask Miss Shen for permission. You... Shen Yan, you shameless bitch. What else can you do besides seducing men? Do you think Chen Han really loves you? He doesn't love me? Does he love you? You bitch! Chen Han... Shenyan stole your black card and she takes away my dress. You should bang me up. Do you think I'm blind? You humiliate my fiance in front of me. But it's her fault! Misu, do you forget the monitoring cameras when you slander me? Mr. Hu, Miss Shen came first and chose the dress. She didn't do anything wrong and she paid the money. This black card is worldwide limited. My fiancé comes from the countryside? It's weird. She's hiding something. What if Wajan Han wants my money? What should I do? How did you get the card? Shh! I borrowed it from others. It's not mine. Don't get the card even if you're my fiancé. I won't give you any money. I'm not that poor. Poverty is not conflict with greed. Didn't you say you like me? You don't even give me a penny. You are not my cat boy. So, you did have a cat boy? The past is past. Now I just have feelings for you. Remember what you say. Yan! Yep, Yan. Cheers. Soft drink is okay. Just a drink, please. Today's my birthday. Let me drink a toast to you. No, I should drink a toast to you. Lin Chua, happy birthday. Thanks. Hmm. Yan, brava. Well, she's a resident singer in nightclub. She's good. Yes, but you're much better. Well, Yan, you haven't sung for a long time. How about singing a song for me tonight? Just as my birthday gift. Sing for us. Sing, 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 sing. Fine, I'll sing for you. Mr. Huo, here is the new kind of wine named Likur. It's also nice to drink straight up. 
你是我Are you the new resident singer? No. Hey, babe. <laughs> If you have a one night stand with me, you can have the money. Get out of my way. Well, don't you come here to seduce men? You should feel lucky that I want to fuck you. Fuck fucking you! How dare you push me? As long as I'm satisfied with you, you will live a happy life in the future. <coughs> Get your hands off! Who the hell are you? Who put a dampener on me? Do you know who I am? Believe it or not, I'll. Mr. Huo, it's you. How dare you touch her, Mr. Huo? Do you like this woman too? Then I'll leave her to you. Mr. Huo, are you all right? Throw him out. What are you waiting for? Drag him out, Mr. Huo. Please spare me. Please let me go, Mr. Huo. I'm wrong. Thank you for helping me. By the way, why are you here? Well, you've got my words. I'm here with my friend. You have no idea that who you are. What? Why are you mad at me for no reason? I'm mad at you for no reason, Shenyan. You are my fiance. How dare you mess with another man right now? Are you so horny? Huh? There must be something wrong with his brain. He hated me before, but now he feels jealous. Yeah. I like handsome guys. I won't change. If you cannot stand this, let's break our engagement. Shenyan, you changed your mind so quickly. You said before you liked me the day before yesterday. It doesn't matter to say I like him. Maybe I'll try another way. I'm sure he won't stand that. Yeah, I change my mind often. I'm inconsistent. If you don't wanna. Ho Jianhan, what are you doing to me? You got my first kiss. Don't you want to have sex with me? I'll satisfy you. Moreover, you don't need to find any other guy. I can satisfy you. Hu Chenhan, didn't you hate me? Did you want to break off the engagement? You're not young. It's time to get married. Besides, you are obsessed with me. All right, I accept you. Mr. Wu, what's wrong? One more drink. Hmm. 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 is not after my money, is he? So he becomes so weird. An an. Hua Jianhan, what are you doing? You're drunk. An an. An an. I'm not an an. Oh an an. I miss you so much. Where are you? I miss you so much, An An. That's my nickname. I'm not scared at all. If you feel more scared, it will bully you more. Annan, I'm not scared with you around. But Shito, did I save your life? So when you grow up, you should marry me. 
deal. An un. I miss you so much. Let me go. An un. <laughs> Let me go. What are you doing? How shameless you are! How dare you seduce my cousin in the living room! Even the prostitute is not as big as you! Shut up, you dirty mouth! Let me help you to clean your mouth! You bitch! Again? You slapped me! Jen Han won't let you go! He's right there! Go and ask him how he will content with me! You got him drunk, right? You're going to sleep with him! I force him to marry you, right? I'm his fiance. It's natural for us to have sex. Why I should get him drunk? Chen Han won't like you. He's gonna break off the engagement with you. Great. Don't let me down. He's drunk. Why don't you help him to his bedroom? Chen Han, why don't you have feelings for me? I don't want to be your cousin. Who are you, Ching? He's drunk. I was wiping his mouth. With your mouth? I warn you. Don't talk nonsense. I don't care what you want to do. But, Hua Yuqing, I warn you. As long as I live in the horse and Chen Han's fiancé, then take back your filthy ideas. If you disgrace the horse, you know the consequence. How dare you! Get back to your room. Or... Do you want to wipe my fiancé's mouth again? Shenyan, you country pumpkin. Just wait and see. I'll kick you out of the horse. Go and check what the relationship between Hua Yuqing and Hua Chenhan is. Hello. I got it. Hua Yujing was adopted by Hua Chenhan's aunt. She was a kid in the orphanage. She has no blood relationship with Hua Chenhan. No wonder. She has no blood relationship with Hua Chenhan. Hua Yujing likes Hua Chenhan. What a mess of the horse. I need to get myself off the hook. Finish this work today. Now I'm busy with the project with Lady Fashion. His files have nothing to do with the project. Go and turn to others. They are busy! I'm asking you! Mr. Huo. I need a cup of coffee. Mr. Huo asked me to serve him a cup of coffee. Why is Chen Han so nice to the country pumpkin? Warner, Mr. Huo even gave her the project with Lady Fashion. She'll get what she deserved. Do you have any ideas? Come here. Got it. Mr. Wu, here is the coffee. An An. That's enough, Huo Chen Han. You are so weird. I'm not An An. Is your pendant a genuine one? What do you mean? Of course. An An has the same one as yours. Shen Yan, were you kidnapped when you were a kid? I have no idea why you keep asking this question. The last time I tell you the answer, I have never been kidnapped. Never. Mr. Ho, I gotta go, if there is nothing. I can't mistake the Jade Pendant. How could it be? Haven't you got all the information about Shen Yan? Do you make a perfunctory effort? Mr. Wall, I did try my best, but her past was covered up. I couldn't make it. But I got something new. The CEO of Yaori Group, Ling Chen, is her acquaintance. Yaori Group, 
We found that Ling Chen live in the village where Shen Yan stays for a month in July or August every year. They mean a lot there. And Mr. Huo, Yaori Group is our opponent. It's one of the big two in Bay City. Is there a possibility that Shen Yan is a spy sent by them? There are only four black cards worldwide. Go check out who have the other three. Shen Yan, today Mr. Salty from Lady Fascia will come here for cooperation. You should get a business. If you screw it up, you'll be fired. Mind your own business. <laughs> Shen Yan, wait and see. Let's enjoy the show. Hello, Mr. Huo. Long time no see. Please. Who is this beautiful lady? This is Secretary Shen. She's the project supervisor. Nice to meet you, Mr. Song Jing. Shen Yan, go and prepare. Make an introduction of the company's project details for Mr. Song Jing. Okay. Our company is very serious about projects. This is my first period specific designing. Shen Yan, what the hell are you doing? You're this project supervisor. How could you give some blank papers to fool us? According to Chen Han's thought, Shen Yan must be fired. What's happening? Get him back up, Secretary Shen. Don't you know, our resignings are handmade? It's handmade. Is it possible to have backups? No wonder, you come from countryside, know nothing. How long does it take to redesign it? At least two days. Shen Yan, aren't you thinking to put off the meeting and spend two days on redesigning? You cannot make Mr. Song Chin pay for your mistake. How dare you? No need for two days. One hour is enough. <laughs> How dare you? The brag is up to the sky. Aren't you afraid that the brag will fall down to hit you to death? Chen Han, Shen Yan lost the value of redesigning and she also bragged. This kind of person is not qualified to stay in your company. She should be fired. Sorry, Mr. Song Jing, we've got you too late. Could you give me one hour? Sure enough. One hour is surely not enough for handmade, but I can totally make it by using this software. Done. She's really made it. She just spent one hour. How many more surprises will my fiancé bring me? Mr. Song Cheng, I'm sorry for the minor incident. Now this is my new designing. This is our company's new promotion of Ice and Fire series. White is for Ice, Red is for Fire. This is our current period's new topic. I like Michelle's designing a lot. Then, we'll default to production as soon as we can. Promote the Ice and Fire series soon. I'm looking forward to it. Mr. Huo, I'm very satisfied about today's meeting. I'm leaving now. Wait. Now we're figuring out. The designing thing, why did that become blank? The designing became blank, that was your mistake! Why are you saying this to us? Yeah, are you thinking that you got Mr. Song Jing satisfied? You can't deny the fact that you lost the designing? I lost the designing? Then changed a few blank papers? You think everybody is foolish like you? I think the designing was exchanged by you? Shen Yan! Don't slander me! The designing was in my drawer. Before the meeting, our company's monitors were investigating. This bitch is so naive. How would I leave such a big proof? What if the monitor shows it was not me? What are you supposed to do? What do you want? I want you to kneel down and apologize and get away from our company. What if that was you? Then I'll eat up all these papers. Fine, it's a deal. Go and investigate the monitors. Such a timing. Shen Yan, don't be so strange here. You don't have proof that it was me. You're defaming. You don't give in to me. If you know the rule, apologize to me quickly. I didn't say that our company only has one monitor. What do you mean? On my desk, I installed a little monitor. Who did that is very clear.
without a designing. Let's see how arrogant he can be. Why did you do that? Mr. Huo, I... You're fired. You're no longer the staff of the Huos. We will expose your bad behavior. No, Mr. Huo, you cannot fire me. If I leave the Huos, no company will accept me. That's what you deserve. What or what or help me? Liu Ching Ting, how could you do such a thing? I regarded you as my friend, and I knew your mother was ill. I even lent you money. How dare you hurt our company for your selfishness? Suan so Er is going to give up me. Since she was already fired, now drag her out. Wait. Today, I have another thing to do. You've gone too far. I've gone too far. You're helping her. Should the one behind is you? Bullshit! Fine. It's done. Stop talking. Come with me to the office. Did you know Liu Jingjing would exchange your design? I don't know, but I think this company is full of those who want me to shame. So who on earth are you? Why are you able to make jewelry design? Mr. Huo, everybody has secrets. Don't you think you're too curious about me? You're my fiancé. I think when you are with me, you don't need any secrets. Here's a project with the Yaori group. You will find a way to make them compromise another two percentage. They won't. Why? This is my company. How will I compromise myself for another two percentage? Stay dreaming. This is my task to you. I'm sure you can make it. And I know the CEO of Yaori group. She's nice. You're lying. I... What? I almost blew my cover. I I also know the CEO of Yaori Group. She's not full at all. Aren't you from the countryside? How do you know her? Well, we met when I was in the countryside. When she came to visit the countryside. She's pretty but smart. It'll be an opportunity for you to improve yourself. Then, it was decided. Go ahead. What should I do? No one has really done a drone project before. Let me make it clear to Ling Jia first. One Er, help me. I really cannot lose this job. I know. I'll help you when Chen Han gets over it. One Er, you must not forget. But remember, you did all this on your own. If you give away anything about me, you know what will happen. I'm not gonna say anything. We still underestimated this bitch, Shen Yan. I will let her go. They were in cahoots. You stole confidential company documents. Misu, misfortunes come out of mouth. You haven't learned that lesson yet. Bitch, shut up! This file is a joint project with the Yaori group. You still classify documents. How dare you insult me? This is the project that Mr. Huo asked me to take charge. How is it possible? Why is it impossible? And I am very busy. Get out of my way. Hello. Do something for me. Hey, stop. Who let you in here? I'm here to talk to Miss Ling about cooperation. Do you have an appointment? Hey, look at you, what a country bumpkin. Who do you think you are to do business with Miss Ling? Is that how you work as a front desk staff? I am a better receptionist than you, country bumpkin. Hey, it stinks. It stinks. So on or asked you to contend with me? What are you talking about? You came in after work and trashed our office carpet. I need you to get over here and clean it up or I won't let you go. What if I don't? How dare you be so arrogant in front of me? Take your ID. Arrest her. Get her down on her knees. Don't you dare touch me. Why are you two just standing here? This woman is a bitch who seduces rich people. How dare you come here and pretend to be a businesswoman? Gambling to here. See what kind of front desk stuff she hired. Bitch. How dare you call our CEO Ling Cha? I'm gonna kick her ass today. Stop it. Miss Ling, this, this woman. Shut up. Are you okay? I'm fine. 
You're fired. Get out now, Miss Ling. Don't fire me. Please, I beg you. Get her out of here. Later, all the company's old Maori group will pull this woman into the blacklist. Yes. Miss Ling, I'm wrong. Miss Ling, Miss Ling. Honey, come with me to the office. Someone is waiting for you. What? You see. Let's go. Grandpa, what brings you here? What's the matter? Aren't you happy to see me? <laughs> happy? Tell me, how are you getting along with Mr. Huo? <sighs> Nothing much. It's not supposed to be like this. I've seen that boy before. He's your type. Tell me, did you have sex with him? <gasps> Grandpa, am I such a womanizer in your mind? Aren't you? No! You're still trying to trick me. When you are in the countryside, you have a mobile phone in your hey. hand every day. <laughs> Looking at... A contract. This project can be done, but the percentage of profit cannot change. Okay. Well, my good girl, I'm leaving. You should go about your business. Okay. Eh, good. I'm leaving. Grandpa, are you sure you don't want to stay for two more days? You naughty girl. I'll open the door for you. Well, be obedient. Okay. Bye, Grandpa. Who is this old man? I haven't seen him. Miss Lin picked him up in person. It's sad that this old man is the real man behind the company. I got it. <laughs> Shen Yan, you're the one who told me your secret this time. This time, it will destroy your reputation. Grandpa, why don't you stay for two more days? No, no, no. The old man lives in the countryside. Well, I'll be back with you in three months. Hey! Are you sure you don't like Mr. Wu at all? I'm sure. Grandpa, you should go home. Don't make me worry about you. Lord, I thought you said you would stay for a few days to set her and Mr. Huo up. That's not necessary. I know my granddaughter. She doesn't like Mr. Huo anymore. Now, let's go back. Auntie, are you looking for me? You get your ass back here right now! What did you want to see me about? Shenya, how dare you ask me that question? Think about it yourself. What did you do? I've done too much. Which one are you talking about? You people from the countryside have no shame. Lord is fooled by you to set such a humiliating marriage to Shen Han. It's a disgrace to the Huos. So tell me, what did I do? Bitch! It's all over the news that you seduced an old man. Why are you still pretending to be innocent here? What do you have to say now? You're a piece of shit. How dare you try to marry into the horse? Dream on you. Call Chen Han here. Call off the engagement immediately. The Huo's never wanted such a bitchy, shameless woman. Shen Yan, how dare you? If you have any sense of shame, you'll break off your engagement. After all, a woman with no shame like you is such a horror. I'll ask my cousin to break off the engagement with you right now. Great, that will be great. I don't agree. Chen Han, haven't you seen the news? She cheated on you, and with an old man. Chen Han, the investigation into your grandfather's illness is almost complete. There's nothing wrong with him, and there's no need for you to be with a slut. My marriage, my decision. She cheated on you. Enough. What's going on on the internet? I want to hear it from you. Would you believe me if I said so? I believe you. Chen Han, did she give you the ecstasy? She's so intimate with that old man. They 
name was that a thing? The Wolves doesn't want a daughter-in-law like that. You break up immediately. Call off the engagement immediately. Then we don't have to wait for three months. Cancel it now. Shenyan, this is your purpose, right? Yes. We don't have feelings for each other. There is no need to continue. I don't believe it. I don't agree. Chen Han, why didn't you break up the engagement with her? Get her out. If you don't like Shen Yan, just move out. Hua Chen Han, why don't you agree? You're in love with that An An, aren't you? You are An An. I don't know why did you forget being kidnapped when you was a child. You're mistaken. I have a very good memory. I was never kidnapped when I was a kid. Nothing will work. I'm not breaking off our arrangement. Then it will be automatically lifted in three months. Chen Han, Yu Ching cares about you. And I don't approve of you hanging out with Shen Han. I'll talk with your grandpa. So, after talking with grandpa, then you can come at me. Mishan, have you seen that news on the internet? Yes. Don't worry, Mishan. I've already called my publicist and pulled the news. Did we find out who did it? It's the one bird. It was her. <sighs> What's up? I have something to tell you. What? Why is your face so red? You're too close. Do you really have no feelings for me? No. I told you, I'm not an an. It's unexpected. Shenan actually gave Hua total cuckold. I heard that old man is the real power behind the Aori group. Shenyan slept with the old man for the contract. How can she kiss an old man in his 70s or 80s? Besides, Mr. Hua is Shenyan's fiance. She would like a dirty old man instead of the young and rich Mr. Hua. You don't understand anything. Mr. Hua is not satisfied with Shenyan at all. The marriage is bound to dissolve sooner or later. There she is, there she is, there she is, stop talking. Shen Yan, you have the nerve to come to the office. Why can't I come? You have no shame. You had sex with an old man, but you're still walking around like that. You're no longer good enough for Chen Han. Be smart, break off the engagement, or I won't let you go. Then try it. I'll be just shameless, piece of death. Oh, oh, I just bought this bag. Shen Yan, you don't think after you with a dying old man, you can't... Oh. Don't you dare say one more curse. How dare you slap me? So what? <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> Did you two see I had sex with him yesterday? Did you hide under my bed? The intimate pictures of you and the old man is already popular on the internet. How dare you quibble now? So an er, didn't you do any research before you pulled this stunt? That old man is my grandpa. No way, you are lying. Shenyan is my fiance. I know her best. Anyone who dares to slander her, I'll fire him. Chen Han, don't be fooled by this woman. That old man is the boss of Yaori Group. And she's just a bomb kid from the countryside. When did my grandpa say he was the boss of Yori Group? Yori Group issued an announcement. He's really her grandpa. Who oh, made this rumor is crazy. I think it's because of the media. I guess someone just wanted the media to write that. How could this be? How could that old man be Shen Yan's grandpa? Apologize to Shen Yan. Chen Han! Although, she didn't cheat on you, but she doesn't save you. But she hit me. I'm not gonna apologize to her. I don't need your apology, but when you slander me and made the rumor, remember that you will pay the price. You are talking nonsense. These are all media leaks. Don't be afraid to spend money on spammer. Don't mind if it's true, just write it. Ruin her reputation. Shut it down! Turn it off! Swan her. You have to pay the price. I have already posted this online. 
Trillion, how dare you? Why not? The Zeus won't let you go. The Zeus is in a precarious situation, right? Hello. Is it you who made the mess online? The company's stock price dropped sharply. You must immediately apologize to Shen Yan. I will never apologize to her. Who is Xu Wan Er? We received a report. She is suspected of spreading rumors. Now she needs to go to the police station to accept an investigation. You called the police? Spreading rumors costs. Shen Han, help me! Who else has any doubt about the contract Shen Yan negotiated? Wow, Shen Yan! You're amazing! We can even negotiate a contract with Yori Group. Thank you. So, did you meet the person in charge of Yori Group? Is it a man or woman? It's said to be a woman. How do you know? I have special channels and she likes young males very much. She keeps 108 handsome men in her villa. She really knows how to enjoy her life. It's good to be rich. Oh, there are so many rich people in the world. Why cannot I be one of them? I don't ask for too much. I don't need 108 men. Just give me 8. <laughs> Isn't it possible that they are just eye-catching? Hey, everyone, look at the chat group. Mr. Hua said he wants to invite everyone out to dinner. Shen Yan, this must be because of you. Just a dinner party. Why do you curry favor with her? Aren't you always currying favor with Su Wan Er? What are you barking at me for? You, Wan Er, are you hurt? No. Mom, it was Shen Yan. That bitch, she got me into jail. I'll never let her go. I must take revenge on her. Shut up. You are a good for nothing. Because of your behavior, we are under attack from Yaori Group and have lost several projects. Wan Er is your daughter. Why are you so angry? You just spoil her. Mr. Huo isn't interested in her, but you keep pursuing him. As for Shen Yan, she's not as simple as you expected. Shen Han, he cares about me. And Shen Yan, a bomb game comes from the countryside. He's easy to contend with. I was only careless this time. You wanna do that again? Don't even think about it. You must apologize to Shen Yan tomorrow. I won't. Even death won't make me apologize to that woman. I am the one that Shen Han will marry. Oh! One hour. Dad, you hit me for that bitch. No matter how angry you are, you cannot hit your daughter. She did that to that woman just because she wanted to marry into the horse. And it's good for the company if we get connected with horse through marriage. Do you think she can get whatever she wants? She didn't just offend Yori group this time. Even the horse began to take action against the shoes. No way. What? Jen Han would never do that to me. Huo Chen Han doesn't like you at all. You must go and apologize to Shen Yan today, or you are not allowed to come home. Dad! Mom! Mom, Chen Han would never do that to me, right? Wan Er, you cannot force someone to like you. Now that he doesn't have feelings for you, you should listen to your dad. Go and apologize to Shen Yan. Listen to me, Wan Er. Okay, I'll go and apologize tomorrow. That's my girl. Cheers! How generous Mr. Hua is! This is my first time I've eaten in such a fancy place. Thanks to Shen Yan. It is Mr. Hua who paid the money. I wonder if Mr. Hua will come. Lin An told me that he won't come. We can enjoy ourselves really. Wan Er, come here. Shen Yan, it's my fault about what happened online. I apologize for that. Apology untaken. What about? 500,000 yuan. Untaken. 1 million yuan. Shen Yan, greed has no limits. 1 million yuan is a big deal of money for you. Shen Yan, enough is enough. How did Shu Wan Er is? Why didn't Shen Yan take it? Actually, 1 million yuan is nothing. How about 100 million yuan? And I'll think about it. 100 million yuan? Shen Yan, you are a bumpkin who comes from countryside. How dare you say that 1 million yuan is nothing? It's none of your business whether I have money or not. But I know 
This house will soon be bankrupt. You deluded Chen Han to contend with my family. He is my husband. There is no doubt that he helps me. You just wait and see. Shen Yan, I must let Chen Han know your true colors. Shen Yan, are you sure you're not interested in 100 million yuan? That is 100 million yuan. I can earn it by myself. Shen Yan, isn't she from the countryside? Why she looks so rich? I'll go to the toilet. Suana, what do you mean that you send me these photos? There is half a million yuan in this card. It is enough for your brother to have an operation. I guess you know how to do it right. The hospital has been already given you the critically ill notice. Are you sure that you want to give it up? Hmm? Cheers. Shenyan, we all have benefited from you today. Let's propose a toast. Let's drink. I will enjoy myself. Ho Chenhan will pay the money. Shenyan, you should have one more drink today. Shenyan, what's wrong? I'm fine. I'll go to the toilet. <sighs> Shenyan, are you drunk? Let me take you to your room to rest. I'm fine. Thanks. You're drunk. I'll take you to your room to rest. Slow down. We'll get there right now. Here is your room. Uh, uh, keep drinking. Shenyan, I'm sorry. I have no choice. It's done. Shen Yan, you lost to me, didn't you? You know what to do. Don't worry, I'll make sure she enjoys it very much. <laughs> Fine, you can get started. Why did you come back alone? Where's Shen Yan? Grandpa. Can you tell me who Shen Yan really is? Now you know Shen Yan is better? She's good, but I want to know who she really is. You can't let the cat out of the bag. The only thing I can tell you, you have to fight it out by yourself. I may be old, but I've got a clear head. I will definitely not make the wrong choice, so you're not allowed to bully her. So, Grandpa, was she ever kidnapped when she was a child? Well, I'm not really sure. I heard Grandpa Shen said that she had a serious illness when she was a child and almost lost her life. Grandpa, can you help me ask Grandpa Shen? It is really important to me. I'll take my time to find the goodness of Shen Yun. Well, if there's a possibility, I'll ask Grandpa Shen. Chen Han, come to the Qiangnan Club. Shen Yun is having an affair behind your back. Grandpa, I'm leaving now. Chen Han! What did you do to Shen Yun again? Uh, I did nothing. How did you know Shen Yun was in this room? ran into this room. <laughs> what happened? You should ask me, Sue. She tried all means to ruin me. Don't talk bullshit. You, come out. 
Yes, it's her. She gave me 100,000 yuan to let me fuck you. She incited me. Let me go, please. Bullshit! I don't know you! In my opinion, Shannon has bribed you to free me! Mm. Shenyan, you're a loser. You know what should you do? Enjoy yourself. Give it to me! Why did you do this? Chen Han, I did so because of you. I love you. I love you. I did so because I love you. Get out! <laughs> Whether we met her or not, it has nothing to do with you. Shu on Earth, guess what? You will get the punishment you deserve. Jinhan, I really love you. Please, I beg you, Jinhan. Let me go. I'm wrong. Jinhan, Jinhan, Are you hurt? You underestimated me. Shu on Earth cannot hurt me. Tell me if this kind of things happen again, will you? I hope I'm not interrupting you. Oh no. Sorry, Shen Yan. Shen Yan, what do you mean? Shen Yan, don't sleep. Shen Yan, Suan or will harm you. Go with me. I know, you are loyal to me. You... I know that Suan or will have other actions. Your brother will have an operation soon. You need it. Thank you, Shen Yan. Give me the dirty clothes. I'm gonna get the car. Wait for me here. Okay. Go to hell! Liu Qingqing? It's you. You got me lose my job. Are you fine? Uh, are you fine? You're worrying about me? Bitch. Go to hell. <laughs> She's dead. You deserve to die! Shenyan! 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 When I grow up, I will protect you. And then you can't forget me. I will go to find you. What are you talking, Shenyan? I feel hurt. I feel hurt. I will protect you. <laughs> she has a hit on the head. Now she has been out of danger. But further investigation is needed. Thank you, Doctor. Dog. No. Shenyan, Shenyan, wake up, wake up! What's wrong? Did you have a nightmare? You keep yelling dog. I dreamed something, but I don't remember what was dream about. If you can't remember it. Just let it go. The doctor said you need a good rest. Thank you. Just thank you? What do you want? Shouldn't we be married? What in hell? I don't like your joke. You forget your An-An? An-An is you. I remember it very well. I wasn't kidnapped when I was a child. Have you ever thought you just lost partial memory? And when we were kids, while being tied up, you drove that big dog away. Jinhan, I know what I made a mistake, but please forgive her for the sake of wars and the Zeus friendship among generations. I promise, I promise I will teach Mishan. Well, Mishan, I apologize to you on behalf of one Earth. Auntie, I'm not goddess. 
If I weren't discover a scheme today, do you know what will happen to me? Mirjan, I know you're kind. No matter what you want, the Zeus will give to you, as long as you promise to forgive one or... Auntie, the Zeus is in a bad situation, right? Mirjan, you have to be so cruel. Everyone should be responsible for what they have done. Jenhan, what are just likes you too much? You grew up together. You know her well. Auntie Shu. This is not the first time she's already crossed my bottom line. Hello. One Earth, why did you kill yourself? Do you want to scare me to death? Mom, I don't want to be here anymore. You gotta get me out of here. Warner, wait a moment. I and your dad are working on it. No, I don't want to wait any longer. Mom, go and beg Jin Han. Jin Han, don't do that to me. He'll definitely help me. Warner, why are you so into him? Mom, Jin Han's completely mesmerized by this country pumpkin. When I'm out, I'll show the true colors of that bitch. Warner, Jenna doesn't even like you. He even thinks you got what you deserved. He never wanted to let you go. No, no, no. I, I don't believe Jenna. Jenna, he won't do that to me. He won't do this to me. He won't. Cheer up, Warner, Warner, Mom. What are, what are? Get me out of here! Go and beg him! Go and please, beg him! Please rescue my daughter! Please help her! Have you ever thought you just lost partial memory? And when we were kids, while being tied up, you drove that big dog away. Grandpa! My dear girl, why do you suddenly video with me? I miss you. Why are you dressing a hospital gown? Are you in the hospital? I'm fine, a slight wound. You're in the hospital. Did Mr. Wu come to see you? He took care of me the whole night. He just left. Grandpa, I want to ask you something. Go ahead. When I was little, had I ever been kidnapped? Why do you suddenly ask me about that? Tell me. Alas, you are fine when you were little. Oh, don't think randomly. Grandpa, you didn't lie to me. How could Grandpa lie to you? You should take care of yourself. Eh? Huh? Every time Grandpa lied, his eyes are afraid to look at people. Was I really kidnapped when I was a kid? But why did Grandpa lie to me? Mr. Huo, we got that when Shen Yan was 13 years old, she disappeared for a while. That time just matched with the time that you were kidnapped. But when she was found, it was the time that her parents had the car accident, so she had serious illness. Therefore, is it possible it was the car accident that caused her memory loss? The time she disappeared and her time in the hospital, all the information was destroyed. We can't get the details. I've seen her jade pendant. The time coincides. She's an un that I was looking for. By the way, Mr. Huo, I got the black card information that you asked me to research. There are four black cards in the world. The owners are the authorizer of the Yaori Group, the Eiffel family of M Country, and the W Royal family. Yaori Group again. Mr. Huo, she won her escape from prison. Let's go to the hospital. That girl An An Jen Han has been looking for. Oh, Shen Yan, that bitch. It's impossible. Look into a person for me. If I cannot get Chen Han, I will not let Shen Yan, that bitch, get him. Where's the patient in this bed? 
That patient was just here. I don't know where she went. Lock down the hospital now. Find her. What were you doing just now? I'm going to check out. Why are you checking out? You are not cured, don't you know? Yeah, Chen Han, you really underestimated Yan. Don't touch her. She's my wife. What, Chen Han? What are you doing? Yeah, you're not married. And you will break off the engagement in three months. What, Chen Han? Why do you come here? She won't her escape from prison. I'm afraid she will do something bad to you. You are not safe in the hospital. Let's go home. Hey, you! Let me go! You're not well yet. Oh, I'm fine. Look! Well, let me help you. I can walk. Mr. Huo just deliberately losing Yan. Chen Han, you're back. How's your wound? I'm fine. We have already known that you were hurt. Because it's country bumpkin. Shut up. She's your sister-in-law. If you don't respect her, get out of here. How dare you do this to me for an outsider? You're the outsider. Uncle, he's completely mesmerized by this country bumpkin. Chen Han, even if Shen Yan doesn't offend public decency on the internet, she still doesn't deserve to be in the hose. This is my own business. Shen Han, I'm doing this for your own good. The shoes is no longer Dad. dependable. I won't cancel the engagement. I'm going to marry Shen Yan. I won't agree to that. If you insist, don't call me Dad. Let's see if you can win or lose first. Then you can talk to me. I'm going to bed. Chen Han, you're the president of the horse. How can you marry a pumpkin? She doesn't have a noble status like me. Dad. Don't interfere with my engagement. You! You! Hey! Don't be pissed off, or you'll fall into the trap of that Shen Yan. Shen Han won't marry her. But I think he's completely mesmerized by Shen Yan. He said he's hard on her. He doesn't know who the girlfriend I'll introduce to him. It's the first time he meets her. He'll be the first to break off the engagement. Uncle, who is she? I think there is no need to worry about Chen Han's marriage. We can look into it again. Like that Suan or she behaved so well in front of you. But in the end, she only knew underhand tactics. She's not as good as me. <coughs> Yu Ching, I have to tell you, even though you were adopted by my sister from the orphanage, but you've been raised in the Huos, you must remember, you'll forever be Chen Han's cousin. Say something. Uncle, Chen Han and I have always been cousins. That's good to know. The girl I introduced to Chen Han, she's very special. Next week, there will be your auntie's birthday. She will have a birthday banquet. I'll invite that girl over and announce the dissolution of the engagement between Chen Han and Shen Yan. What are you doing? Why didn't you knock when you came in? <gasps> Shen Yan. When I said I'd marry you, I meant it. I'm not kidding. You don't want your An-An anymore? You are An-An. When you were a kid, you had a high fever once. That's why you lost your memory. You're investigating me. Have you ever thought, these are all your guesses? If I'm not An-An, then you marry me. When the real An-An comes back, what are you going to do? I will not. There is nothing absolute in this world. Shen Yan, what did you do to my cousin? He is my fiancé. Of course I must do what a husband and a wife should do. You shameless country bumpkin! Get out of here. Chen Han, are you really going to marry this country bumpkin? Get out! I don't want to say it for the third time. You can get up now. Why not do what we need to do, like a husband and a wife? I just said it to annoy Huo Yu Ting. I'm willing to cooperate with you. Sorry, I'm not. Uncle, are you looking for me? There's 100,000 yuan inside this card. Buy yourself a good outfit. Next week, it's Chen Han's mom's birthday. I don't want you to embarrass the Huos on such an important day. I told you, I have money. I don't need the money of the Huos. Hmm. 
If you don't want our money, why don't you break off the engagement? My grandpa asked me to stay for three months. If you're in a hurry, talk to your son. Hello? Have I ever bought a white jade pass? Find it for me. I want to give it as a gift. Miss Shen, who will you give it to? The Huas has a birthday banquet next week. Yes. Mrs. Wu, I heard you're going to make an important announcement at the banquet. What is it? It must be a happy event. Would you have a grandchild? Well, Mr. Wu's fiancé from the countryside is not good enough for Mr. Wu. In my view, it's better to break off this engagement. This engagement is on my dad's decision. Young people nowadays care about freedom and love. That's right. We have to respect young people's ideas. Besides, your horse is not that kind of small family. It's not necessary to marry a rich family. It's just that the woman is from the countryside. She's so vain, deep down. She cannot stand up to the world. Hmm. Wow. Hey. Isn't she the woman from the countryside? She's so beautiful. She is just a pumpkin. No matter how well she dresses, she cannot hide the fact that she is just a pumpkin. Mom, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Mirshan, you haven't prepared anything, have you? Even though you don't have money, it's not hard to prepare some exquisite gifts. Auntie, your birthday gift is on its way. It'll take some time. I guess you just didn't prepare. Why are you pretending? You must be honest. Auntie! Anani is here. Auntie Hua, sorry I'm late. This is a gift for you. Hey, as long as you're here, I'm glad. You don't need to give gifts. That's not right. You're the elder. It's your birthday. I have to give you a gift. This woman seems to be hostile to me. Mrs. Wu, this box looks so exquisite. Open it and let's take a look. <gasps> this isn't the white jade face sold for more than 10 million yuan at the auction not long ago. Oh my god. Who is she? I haven't seen her before. The gift costs lots of money. Here's my little gift for you. Miss Shen, I heard that you're Chen Han's fiancé. Where is your gift for Mrs. Wu? You know her? No. Chen Han, how could you say that you don't know me? Miss, my fiancé said he doesn't even know you. Do you suffer a hearing loss? And your white date face is a fake. Miss Shen! I know you're a country pumpkin, you cannot afford a gift, but why do you slander me? Shen Yan, don't disgrace me. You country pumpkin, you have never even seen an antique before. How dare you brag here? What's your evidence? Because the real one is mine. You must be mad. Now, get out of here. Me Shen, here is your gift. They are the same. There must be a fake one because there is only one white jade face. Shenyan, that's enough. I don't expect your gift, but you cannot fool me with a fake. Mine is the real one. Mir Shen, I heard that you're a village girl. It's worth 10 million yuan. How can you afford it? I can't afford it, but you can. That's right. Huh. Of course I can. He cannot compete with me. Why? Give me the reason. Have you heard the Yaori group? I'm the future heiress of Yaori group. Whoa, she's really tough. You said you're the heiress of Yaori group. Yes, I am not lack of money. So I couldn't buy a fake mission. As long as you admit yours is the fake one, I won't sue you that you slandered me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Which one is real? Which one is fake? A test will tell. <laughs> I have my purchasing voice here. No need to test. It cannot be the fake one, so we need not an appraiser here. 
Today is Auntie's birthday party. I don't want to make a fuss. I just want Shen Yang to make an apology to me. It's nothing. I have invited Master Feng here. Miss Shen. I'm sorry to trouble you. Never mind. Wow, that's Master Feng. She could even invite the greatest appraiser. Wow, how could Shen Yang be a village girl? This is the real one. Impossible. How could hers be the real one? Do you have a query about my professional ability? Though the fake has the same appearance, but the green are different. I swear on my honor. This is the real one. Auntie Huo, I don't know that it's a fake one. It cost me 10 million yuan. An An, I believe you. You were cheated. Auntie, thank you for trusting me. Chen Han, you'll trust me, right? I don't even know who you are. Don't call me like that. I don't want my wife to take me the wrong way. Okay. Thank you for coming to my birthday party today. Now, I have two announcements. First, the engagement between my son and Shen Yan is cancelled. Second, she will be my son's wife. Mom, I told you, you don't have the right to interfere in my marriage. Besides, Shen Yan is my wife. I don't feel that happy that I imagined when I break off the engagement. Chen Han, do you know who she is? Chen Han, I am An An. You promised to marry me. Shetou, when we were kids, you promised you would protect me for your whole life. When you grow up, do you forget that? The chain of the jade pendant is unique to the Shens. This woman called An An. Are you An An? <laughs> Chen Han, I'm waiting for you all along. So you're An An, really? Yeah, it's me. Do you remember what happened when we were kids? Of course. I drove away the big black dog for you, and you said you would marry me when you grow up. I'm waiting for you all along. Why didn't you come for me? I went abroad. Before when I came to China, I asked my father to find you, and I found that you are Mr. Huo. I also heard that you have a fiancé. I'm afraid that you forgot me. Chen Han, will you marry me? I know the engagement between you and Chen Yan was arranged by Grandpa, but you can break it off. Chen Han, Why do I feel I that she's so strange? I have a wife you. now. I won't leave you. Sorry to interrupt you. You guys continue. Shen Yan. Chen Han, don't leave me. Auntie Huo told me you kept looking for me. You like me a lot, right? Shen Yan. Chen Han. Yan. You're here. It's hard to find you. What's up? I heard about the stuff. Are you okay? Yes. Yan, may I ask you a question? Go ahead. Is it true that you made a three month contract with Mr. Huo? So what? Do you mean you never have feelings for Mr. Huo? Yes, I never have feelings for Mr. Huo. It's just about the contract. That's it. Shen Yan. Can you say that again? I don't like to repeat my words. Chen Han, I'm new here. Please show me around. Miss Shen, you don't mind, do you? Shen Yan. Who is this girl? Why does she act like a scheming bitch? I'm going to puke. Enjoy yourselves. Shen Yan, are you serious? You don't mind at all? Why should I mind, Mr. Huo? Do I need to remind you just now? Your mom has broken off our engagement. And didn't you find the An-An you've been longing for? Mr. Wu, now that you've found the one you love, you should stop pestering Yan. Our Yan, she's rich and beautiful. There are plenty of people who are not blind to pursue her. Huh. Chen Han, Mishin has come too far. She purposely let her friend to say I'm a bitch. 
does Lin Jie's personal behavior. It has nothing to do with Shen Yan. Didn't that guy say Hua Chen Han hate Shen Yan? Why does he care about her so much? My dear girl, do you miss me? Grandpa, isn't a jade pendant hanging around my neck only in her shanks? Today, I saw a woman take out the same jade pendant as mine. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shen, I didn't mean it. Pick it up. Miss Shen, I said I didn't mean it. Besides, my status is here. I cannot possibly help a pumpkin pick up something. Who are you? Of course, I'm the future heiress of Yori Group. Why are you laughing? Ah, you're probably jealous. After all, you're a pumpkin. You cannot enter the horse. Besides, Chen Han has promised to marry me. Hu Chen Han's taste is really bad. I think you're just sour grapes. And now, you've broken off your engagement with Chen Han. If you know what's good for you, get out. Or else, don't blame me for being rude. I'd like to see how can you be rude. You're just a country pumpkin. <laughs> I hate it when people point their fingers at me. Guess what? My grandpa is the chairman of Yori Group. If I get hurt, he won't let you go. So tell me, what's your grandpa's name? My grandpa is Shen Tianguo. Is your surname Shen? That's right. Grandpa, am I not your only granddaughter? Go to hell! On on. On on. Oh, Jen Han, I thought I would never see you again. I was afraid. What is going on? Hey, Shen Yan, she pulls me down. She tried to kill me. What? I just want Miss Shen to agree that I want to be with you. She didn't want to. She pushed me on the balcony. You are too vicious, aren't you? You dare to try to harm Shen An An. Miss Shen, Chen Han and I are truly in love. Even though you engage with him, I won't give up my beloved to you. <laughs> Good at acting. You can distort the facts. You're a bitch can't stand up to the world. How dare you kill An An? Dad, Chen Han, you're still defending this murder? Didn't you see that? If we hadn't come in time, An An would have died. We haven't investigated the matter yet. You can't just jump to conclusions. Chen Han! You don't believe what I said? Shen Yan pushed me! That's impossible. Do you think I'm lying? I will investigate it. No need to investigate! Shen Yan pushed me! I'll call the police! I want her to go to jail! Just call the police! Let's see who pushed whom down! I've already checked this balcony. Cameras cannot capture it. Even if she calls the police, and I insist, Shen Yan pushed me. She cannot change her fate. Ill said. You didn't push Shen An An. I didn't. What proof can you provide to prove it? Then she doesn't have any proof either. But the woman, she insisted it was you. We're investigating this matter. We need your cooperation in the future. Take a statement. You can go home then. Throw them out. Shen Yan, you and Chen Han have broken off the engagement. Now, take all of your crap. Get out of our horse. Pick them up. These are just cheap goods. Do you think they're precious? <laughs> Isn't it the crystal bracelet made by designer Annie? Why do you have it? How did you get it? He's the only one in the world. Oh. I got it. It's a fake you bought. At a beauty shop. The fake seems quite real. Do you think it's fake? What? Do you mean it's real? That's crazy. Who are you trying to fool with this fake? What do you think? I'll give you 1,000 yuan. That's enough to buy you this cheap stuff, right? Not enough. Not enough? Shen Yan, you are not a reservoir dog. Don't even think about trapping me. He's sensible. Take the rubbish. Get the hell out of here. Oh, you. Either you put my stuff back the way it was, or you're gonna compensate me double. You idiots. What are you waiting for? 
Come and catch her! Oh, why are you hitting me? Stop it! I said stop! You bunch of junk! Shenyang, I advise you, let go of me, or else I'll make your grandpa in the countryside live a miserable life, just like you. You got my things dirty. Clean them. Pick them up. Shenyan, you almost killed An An and you're still restless. And now you want to take action against the Huos? Do you think we have no one left in the Huos? Uncle, before you offend someone, why not ask what your niece did? Whatever she did, we the Huos are here to back her up. Who do you think you are? Shenyan, you're dead. We the Huos, you cannot just handle easily. Arrest her. Mission. Who are you? How dare you come to the horse? Mission, we're here to take you back. Ha! Shen Yan, you country bumpkin. You've even found a group of people to elevate your status. You're still a bumpkin who cannot stand up to the world. Oh! Oh, you bitch! Oh, uncle, help me! What the hell do you want? Let me tell you, even if you use all of your tactics, you won't be able to enter the Huos. The Huos? I really don't want to enter. I really don't want to enter the Huos. You don't want to? So what are you doing? Let her clean my clothes, one by one. I'll double pay! If you tell me, you wouldn't have to suffer so much. I've worn these clothes a few times. They're Leo's private exclusive designs. 100,000 yuan per piece. Five pieces, 50 million yuan for crystal love, double the compensation, 101 million yuan. Shenyan, you're a fraud! Add up all these things of yours, it isn't even 1,000 yuan. Here's the shopping list. Take a good look at it, it's the real thing. It is fake, it's all fake. Shenyan is poor. How could she afford a 50 million yuan diamond bracelet? Mishan is the head of Yari Group. <laughs> you regroup! You're all a bunch of liars! I really underestimated you. Not only you are vicious, you're also very scheming. And now you're lying about everything. You almost killed An An, and now you want to take over An An's identity. Lord Wo, I'm the executive CEO of the Yao Ri Group. There's information about me on the internet. If you don't believe it, check by yourself. Impossible! Credit card or in cash? How is this possible? It can be! This is all fake! It seems that you don't want to pay. Then, let's wait for the police. Let's go. Uncle! Our Shenyan said it was fake, wasn't it? How could she be the head of Yori Group? And how could that bracelet cost 50 million yuan? Let me ask Chen Han. Mishan, the incident that you pushed Shen An An is on the news. Some people even added more fuel to the fire. They said that Shen An An and Hua Chen Han have been in love for a long time. That you're a mistress. Do you still need me to remove the news? No need. I want to see who is this Shen An An. I found out. Mishan, Shen An An has relation with you. Me? She is your cousin. She is your uncle's child. And your grandpa's granddaughter. I remember, when I was very young, my uncle was expelled from the country and his daughter is Shen Tian. Instead of Shen An An, she must change her name. I don't think she recognized me. You are separated too early. She is your cousin. You didn't recognize her either. Why did I remember Shen An An? She wasn't kidnapped when she was a child. Mir Shen. Hua Jianhan clarified it himself. He said he didn't break off your engagement. You're not a mistress. He also said that the accident is under investigation. Hello. Have you left the horse? Mm. Shen Yan, I never agreed to break off the engagement. You're still my fiancé. We've been together for so long. Don't you have any feelings for me at all? Didn't you find your An An? She's a fake. What? Mirshan, be careful! Shenyan, 
Shenyan, what happened? Can you hear me? Shenyan. Shendou, don't be afraid. I will protect you. You eat now. Hurry. I hear it secretly. We don't talk back those feelings. We should be obedient first. Then we find a chance to escape. Enon, I found the key. Let's run away. Shenyan, what's wrong with you? Can you hear me? Shenyan, can you hear me? You're awake. How long have I been asleep? Half a month. Do you feel anything uncomfortable? I'll call the doctor. Jinhan, I remember now. What do you remember? I remember things from our childhood. Her shadow. <laughs> Grandpa. My dear girl, you finally wake up. I've made you worry about me. Not anymore. <laughs> Come on. Apologize to your sister. Sorry. I don't know you're my cousin. If I had known it, I wouldn't have wronged you. What did you wrong me? I shouldn't frame that you pushed me. Yan, we are family. If An An knew you're her cousin, she would never wrong you. Please forgive her. She did more. She also pretended me in front of my fiance. Total misunderstanding. An An was used by that Shu Wan Er. She asked An An to pretend to be you. Shu Wan Er? It was her. She put me up to it. And your car accident, all planned by her. Anyway, she has got the punishment of the law and will spend the rest of her life in jail. How does Suanor know what happened when we were kids? She didn't know. When you were a kid, you was kidnapped. You witnessed your parents' car accident and you had a bad fever. An An heard your mumbling. Yun. An An is young and stupid. For the sake of me, can you let her go? Uncle, I don't think you got enough face. Since I've recovered my memory, time for us to review the history of you killing my parents. Yan, you can't joke about this. Your parents died in a car accident. You can't pin this on your uncle. It's not an accident. I heard you talking on the phone. You asked someone to do something to their car break. Yan, you remembered it wrong. No, I didn't. I was running a high fever and was trying to tell Grandpa, but I fell down the stairs. Yan, it's been more than 10 years. You've got no evidence. Aren't you throwing mud at me? I have the evidence. This is the proof of how you bribed the car mechanic to sabotage the brake system over 10 years ago and your transaction records. How, how, how is that possible? Bastard! It truly was you! Dad, it's all fake. How could it be fake? Dad, sir, you are suspected of intentional murder. Please come with me for the investigation. No, no, how are you gonna take it? Dad, please give me another chance. My dear girl, I'm sorry for your parents. Actually, I was suspicious of your uncle. But I... Grandpa, I just woke up. I was blaming you when I got my memory back. But I knew, uncle is also your son. And I didn't have tangible evidence to prove that uncle killed my parents. My dear girl, thank you for your understanding. Good, good girl. Got your ass up, boy. Give me your hand. From today, I'm leaving Yan to you. Take good care of her. If you don't, you know what? Even though I'm old, I swear I'll come for you. You got it? Grandpa, I give you my word. I love her forever. Good boy!